Capitol News' Kristen Pierce continues our coverage. And Kristen, there are still so many questions about what motivated Frank James and why he was living in Milwaukee. Joyce, there are so many questions about Frank James right now and so very few answers. But we do know what he purchased at a fireworks store here in Wisconsin and how it could be connected to that subway attack. Part of the New York subway shooting investigation is happening in Wisconsin. This receipt shows a purchase by Frank James. It's dated June 21st, 2021. He spent $93 on more than a dozen items, including smoke balls and smoke bombs. The address on the receipt is the same place where 12 News captured exclusive video of federal agents. Some of these items purchased in June may have been used in the subway attack. A police official told ABC News the suspect had on a gas mask and detonated smoke canisters before he started shooting. We called and text several different numbers trying to learn more about James from family. Neighbors knew very little. I hadn't heard it until uh, the news and then I should have said no. I ran into his car um, in the winter and I made it the, the cut too short and knocked off the front of his car. His personality was fine. I, he seemed mild-mannered to me. But that's all the interaction that we've had. In a video posted online March 20th, James talks about leaving Wisconsin. As I leave the state of Wisconsin, all I can say is good riddance. <laughs> And I will never be back again alive. To have it's unclear if he's been in contact with anyone here since. And Kristen, we're learning he lived elsewhere in the Midwest. He did. Our affiliate in Chicago says that he lived in Chicago from 2015 until 2017. He moved to Milwaukee in 2020. We're not sure why. Kristen Pierce reporting live tonight in Milwaukee.